Kia ora, and welcome to Sidereal Confluence in about three minutes. This is a game for four to nine players. There's no solo mode. Playing time is two hours or more. It's a pretty complex game. In the dark reaches of space, nine different alien races form a trade federation. Setting aside distrust and war, they work together to create peace through prosperity. Can you wheel or deal your way to financial security? Or will you be left holding ten crates of self-sealing stem bolts? You win if at the end of six turns, you have the most victory points. Competitive. Only one player can have the strongest economy. Engine building. Your economy will expand and get more efficient as the game goes on. Trading. This game is all about trading. Player turn. The core of this game is a real-time trading phase that is so frantic and chaotic I could never do it justice. This game has a lot of resources. Three different types of small cube, three large cubes, ultra tech cylinders, victory points, and ships are the main ones. In general, three small cubes are worth two large cubes, or an ultra tech, a victory point, or three ships. But what do you do with all these resources? Each player will have cards called converters. Converters take a set number of resources and turn them into new ones. For example, oceanic processing turns two green into one brown and a large blue. The value shown here is how efficient the converter is. This turns two value of cubes into two and a half, which is not very efficient. There are some converters that need no inputs, like this one here. This is a research team. Cards with purple arrows can be used during the trading phase, and this one allows you to spend the resources shown to get the victory points listed, including this turn's sharing bonus. Each new technology also gives you a new converter. However, if you look at the bottom of some converters, you will see technologies mentioned. Quantum computing could be kept by itself as a converter, or used to flip the other card so it works more efficiently. Many planets also give free resources, and may be upgraded during the trading phase. In the trading phase, you can trade anything. Cubes, planets, converters, all of it. And all deals are binding. Once trading is done, you have the industry phase, where you can use powers with white arrows. Run whatever converters you want to and then collect the resources produced. Then any technologies researched that turn are shared to all other players, who either gain them as converters or use them to upgrade existing converters. Finally, you use ships to bid on planets, with the highest bidder getting first pick of new planets, then repeat that process for getting new research teams to discover new technology. Why would you like this game? Sidereal Confluence is an experience, no other way to describe it. It has an incredibly hectic trading phase that transitions into a very detail-focused economy phase where you are trying to maximize efficiency. What defines the game most, though, is the complete asymmetry between different alien races, all of whom have different strengths and weaknesses. The Zeth have an economy based on stealing and extorting off other races. Unity produce special grey cubes that can be used in any converters, and the Enient have the most powerful converters in the game, but they're not allowed to run them themselves so they have to trade them away. Learning the quirks of each race and how the unique playstyle works is a really wonderful experience. The best thing about this game is how you shift from making trades and haggling to building this giant expanding economy. No game mixes extroverted and introverted playstyles so vividly for me. However, this game can just be overwhelming, and while the race reference sheets give great advice, your first play will likely be a confusing mess of missteps and chaos. And like all games involving high social interaction and noisy trading, it can be very challenging if you're not so Socially confident. If you like the concept of alien races, but would rather invade someone with spaceships, check out Twilight Imperium. And for a more straightforward trading game, check out the classic Chinatown. Sidereal Confluence. It's Chinatown. On steroids. In space! If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.